you want to do opposing angles of bracing bark okay one more brace Tight in there. Holy mackerel. Short blade. All right, look at the beautiful little garden, shade garden, under this ash tree, actually. It's been treated. It's looking great. Except. It got split. It had an existing crack and then the storm cracked it more. Uh, it's been inspected by the city. The homeowner really wants to maintain this shade garden. I'm gonna, I don't ordinarily do this, but I'm, I'm gonna bolt this. And the city's gonna inspect it. I'm gonna have a cable up there too. I've got it all strapped together right now. And uh, we'll give it a few more years. Game of trees. We're, uh, we're we don't just cut them down. You want to do opposing angles of bracing. So we're going to come up a little bit above the bottom. We're going to come through here at this angle. We're going to come through over here at an opposing angle. So we kind of got a crisscross. And we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to come over on this side and come through here, come out in the middle here. And then we'll be able to go farther over here and come out somewhere in here. So they're gonna be crossing. And then we'll get a cable up there. We'll probably just go just below that strap up there at the thick wood, at the heavy wood. So we won't quite be two thirds of the way up, but it's just a small canopy up there. So it's really a uh, new material. Okay, that'll work. And then we'll get a cable up there. We'll probably just go just below that strap up there at the thick wood the heavy wood so we won't quite be two-thirds of the way up but it's just a small canopy up there so it's really uh immaterial so i've got my line set i'm gonna just drill drill my first hole let's just dig into this start getting it braced i'm gonna go right there about in the middle of the tree. Clear some of the grass. Now, real old school would say you scribe this, but you don't scribe it. Look at what I left here last night. Unless I dropped that this morning. Wow. Would have never known what that was. Nobody walked by that knew what that was. In there. So the old thought was you scribe this out and put the washer right on the cambium. But you're, you're compounding the wounding when you do that. So you don't scribe it out, you go right on top of the bark. And that bark just captures in there and then this compartmentalizes over. And there'll be a piece of bark that's captured in there but it's no big deal compared to the wounding you would create by creating a scribe. And they'd even tell you to do it diamond. You know, it just, it was counter, it was intuitive, but it, it's counterintuitive. Just not right. I'm gonna 
a little trick here. Put a nut on first. So you don't have to go as far. And I don't want to cut it and then try to thread a nut on a cut. So we treated this for EAB a couple weeks ago and it got treated in the past as well. Okay. We don't want it sticking out. We don't want to have to cut off anything on this side. We got a ratcheter. Oh, that's too big. It's for the big nuts. We don't have a ratcheter. I think I got a wrench in there too, but. this angle through here so the point is these aren't lined up vertically and I'll uh, I'll probably get these pre-tightened and then I'll bring a strap down here and we'll crank her up just a piece of outer bark. We aren't all the way to the cambium there. The two up here. I do have a two footer individual. Oh, but right. It's pretty tight over here. So we want bracing on this out, outer side a little more. We go here, then we go there. Try not to push out too hard on the other side. That was a little cleaner. moving a little bit here. <laughs> oh, I got plenty. I might opt to cut one of these off and use use the shorter one. <clears throat> Have to use my material judiciously. Holy mackerel. Came right out of there. gonna get it out of there my tree is moving hopefully we don't ding our threads here prematurely Look at that. That's gonna be all we can do. We're gonna do this one more time. Yeah, 
too short of a blade. cut end, hopefully we can get it threaded on there. All the plans of mice and men. To go get a narrower blade. This blade is messing up the threads. I'm gonna have to cut this off just a little with a thinner blade. Look at that. Mission accomplished. We're getting in some bark. Okay, one more brace. Oh, it's tight in there. Tree's moving still a little bit. Look at that. Chainsaws in the neighborhood. The city said it. Made it. Well, the guys are in the neighborhood where the power is down. And nobody will confirm whether it's dead or a lock. Yeah, you know, power company's not gonna make that call unless they're in the neighborhood with you. And they know that they pulled the breaker at a particular place. They're so overwhelmed right now that our little production <laughs> doesn't really matter. We fortunately have a lot of targets to attack. So it's, we can stay totally busy while we're waiting for them. <laughs> Holy mackerel, short blade. Killed it. Put this one back in. I think with the bracing that I have, I'm just going to use my lighter, lighter bolts. I'm not too talkative today. There's always a few commenters on YouTube. You talk too much. All right. It's like you want to get as much done on the ground with your cabling system as you can, even if you got help. I think I, the most elaborate cable I did solo was a seven lead silver maple. And they had their grand children swing in the tree. Because I just want to make sure this thing's all the way safe. Well, I mean, my cabling didn't make it all the way safe. But probably in an event that that tree comes apart, the kids aren't going to be out there swinging on it. But yeah, seven leads. I used a hub with seven spokes off of it. Here's a hub. So a hub with seven spokes going to seven different leads. 
and you kind of like guess at the lengths well don't guess you, you measure as best you can from the ground and you overshoot so you're always cutting it off and i put all seven seven legs on here on the ground and then i could put one where i knew i could measure to the middle where i wanted my ring and i i made that complete and so i had i was able to bring this up there and install that right away and i take the one that's directly across from that and i went and measured that one out first and put that one in and then i had the ring suspended where i wanted it and then i just ran out to the seven different leads and, and cut them to length and, and tightened them up and you know i cut them cut them just a little short and then you use the threads to tighten your whole system so i got done i had seven leads and they're all they're all tight these are a little hard to bend I guess gloves would be handy. Come on, bad boy. This is my camp saddle. You can buy these camp saddles on gameoftrees.com. All right, you know, just like anytime you change saddles, you have adjustments. And you know, not everybody likes the shoulder straps. I've, I've become accustomed to the shoulder straps. kind of like them. They really, I mean, they're, they're beefy because it's a full fall rest. So I wear this in the bucket so I can climb out. Because uh, if I got a choice of moving the bucket or just jumping out, I'll probably just jump out. If I know that's a potential ahead of time, I'll just go up in the bucket prepared for the lift and have a rope with me and just jump out these are my cool pants k-u-h-l they get wet and they'll dry fast all right we need this on my saddle make sure we're not forgetting anything. Sender guy. You know, obviously you wouldn't put on a whole Nia Sender thing for this little tiny tree here. Holy mackerel. Didn't want to stay on the tree. I'll just foot lock. bolts are long enough they're not it's always bigger than you think hey groundy can you send me two bolts up here and the, the other reason I like these uh, these ascenders is then you can just take them off. I mean, once you're on your akimbo and test it, you know, you're, you're secure at all times. You get two, two ascender attachments. We're gonna have to switch our drill bit back. To the bigger drill bit. Her up a little bit and angle this one. Kevin, you're just making me mad on a hot day. Wow. The drill bit on there. The hole needs to be 1 16th larger at least. Then 
piece. You know, the camp ascender, compared to the Petzl, you gotta click it in there. Like, the Petzl just locks. This you gotta pull back something. And I suppose that, that's a security so that it locks. But, you know, it's dependent upon you locking it. Unless you got a small diameter rope. But it doesn't naturally just wait down there. And their, their theory is that you can't inadvertently pull that open because it's got a lock on there. But if you don't lock it, it comes open. So now I have to remember something that I otherwise didn't have to remember with the pretzels. Something to consider. Sometimes safety is relative to <clears throat> your habits. <clears throat> now we can bring the drill up. The tree calf. Don't crack your battery. Something like that. Hamage, they call it. Kevin Ham, Mr. Abrupt Mover. Huh. All right. Did I not clip the cable in? Oh, you are painful, Kevin. Who didn't see me clip that cable in? I've got the film. I can prove it. Cable's on the ground. Drill is up here. When did, did that cable, like, fall out when I put the... When I put that stupid... This is, this is comical. It's Comedy Central. <clears throat> in, I clipped in. This other tool. And I unclipped the cable. And now I've captured my lanyard. I'll just climb one more time. Who cares? <clears throat> just warming up to practice for the blade speed climb. Except I'm not going very fast. Because who wants to sweat on a hot day? Did I not drill the holes? Could I have not swapped out the, the drill? Is my brain dead today on this hot day? Hope the guys are doing well working around that power. I'm gonna leave two washers on. Oh yeah, we got plenty of threads. Cut these off. Because, you know, if I'm an arborist coming back here, Do, do I want to not know where the other side is? You know, I'm just saying. But I was doing another one a number of years ago. And the city was in on the inspection. And they're like, you didn't cut your bolts off in the tree. I'm like, I, I do that with specific intent. Well, the standard says it's not going to compartmentalize around that. It does compartmentalize 
around. It still incorporates it in. It's the back side is none of the holding power. If anything, it's a net benefit because the wound wood is going around all the threads and it's actually more holding power than otherwise. Your holding power is over here when this grows around this. The pole is, is this way. If wood gets beyond my, my bolt over here, City of Mass, no capital city tree experts, friends of mine. Got their lift going on. Is that their truck down there? Can't see the that chip truck. Got like 13 estimates to do today. My folks are on their way from North Dakota. My mom's youngest brother and his wife are driving them out. <laughs> Big shout out to Keith and Nancy Weiser for bringing my parents out here. <laughs> Too bad we weren't live. Somebody could have texted me, you know, messaged me. Hey, you already drilled your holes, buddy. Grab your sawzall. Now you get this carabiner in here. Be able to keep this straight. Myself in a good working position. There we go. Now we're all comfortable. Just using my core to stay in place. Why was I doing that? Why don't I go down and get the ratchet? Let's do that. Let's pull out one of these. Actually, let's not, because that's probably helping me tighten that. It's going to get harder to tighten it if I take that out. If I didn't leave my saw down there, I wouldn't have gone back down to get the ratchet. But because I had the saw to get, We'll get the ratchet also. Don't forget to switch out the battery. Or any other stupid things a solo person would forget in the tail. But you know, the whole crew is out doing the storm work and I'm and I'm playing with this. Una mas amigos. Didn't I say that last time? Now I can practice my muscle memory on these new ascenders I'm getting them locked like doing multiple trips you know who would want to put on a whole bunch of foot ascenders and knee ascenders for a short little climb like that you know just foot lock but I know that foot lock right there would be difficult for some people I mean, just, just a couple locks. And... That city guy is going to look up here. And he's going to say, it's not all the way in. Far be it from Kevin Ham to quit early. All right, we're in there, the tree's gonna grow fast. It's like, you don't realize on something that takes a lot of details like this. I mean, could I have done it better? Yeah, I could have. But, you know, I'm filming, I'm talking, I'm distracting myself. There is a level of distraction with making a YouTube video, there is. I'm gonna bring a Jeff Trader axe out here and beat these. Let's 
take the drill bit out so that it's safer. Talk about safety, it's not a bad idea to totally disconnect the battery when you're changing tips on these tools. Jeff Schroeder Axe. This is actually a, a modern council head. You, Jeff fits a lot of vintage heads, but this is a modern one. A Halligan tool goes in here. It's like a fireman's axe. Six pounder for busting through doors. It's got a good splitting profile too with that Halligan fitting. Won't wreck their nice little plants here, Kev. No hammage on the landscape. Hey guys. Howdy. Hey. Kevin Ham. Just saw Will yesterday in Quick Trip. Oh yeah. <laughs> he says, "What's Kevin Ham doing?" And he, you know, I was just walking in. He was behind me, but yeah, you're you guys far away away from Portage. <laughs> oh yeah, well we got a lot of Dane County work. Yeah, especially you know. now. There's a lot of work. Yeah, so going. we've always been some of that 60, 60 percent down here, 40 percent up there. Yeah, but last year was 50 50, so you just never know how it pans out. But yeah, yeah, the crews are down here right nice. now. We got missed yeah, up so there. There's added there. like three twigs to your chipper. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, work safe, guys. Yeah, you too. It's out of there. Uh, look, look up Game of Trees on YouTube sure. and Strong. Instagram. Take care. That was Capital City crew. Give them a shout out. They're an accredited TCIA accredited company here in Madison area. So at six zero eight. I'm calling a reference to a, a tree that had been inspected and tagged. The, the homeowner was was begging to be allowed to do mitigation, which we were scheduled to do. This is Kevin Ham of Ham's Arbor Care. And they were given an ultimatum to have it completed by today, which we did perform work today to secure this tree. It, it was... We installed four braces and a, and a cable, and the crack is is closed, and the tree is secure. All right. So the inspector already made note that he saw me working on it, and uh, so there we are, four braces. You know. It'll be interesting to see this in five years. You know, you can't say you're a part of something if you've never tried. So there you go. Take my helmet off. It's Game of Trees. We're out here having fun doing atypical stuff, but we're having fun. All right, now I got to check my schedule. I had 13 estimates before I started this. So like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Playing the game of trees